ここで今How's it going, everybody? It is your boy, the one, and only Chaos Gamer, and we're back with more My Hero Academia Ultra Impact. And today, we are going to break down the new characters and memories that have dropped in the game, being the SR Mina Ashido and the UR Aizawa. Now, I have personally said this. I feel like people really should have summoned for him because we did just get out of the World Hero missions and we summoned for three URs. So maybe take a little break from this banner, save up your gems and see what's coming up next because we never know in this game what is coming up next. It could be some crazy hype unit like All Might or whatever. But we could also see in this kit whether or not he's broken or not. So with that being said, let's not waste any more time. Let's blow this shit right up and let's get started with the video. So here we can see Aizawa's plus ultra animation. You guys let me know in the comments whether or not it looks good or not. Personally, me, I feel like they had to do this animation because, you know, Aizawa doesn't really have much going for him besides stopping people's quirk and, you know, grabbing them so he can do that actual job and stop their quirk. So it's a cool animation to have for Aizawa. But it's, you know, it's just pretty basic, just him throwing rocks at people. But, you know, if we look at SR plus ultra animations, they're really basic as well. So, you know, pretty standard for you. UR. I'm just going to put it like that. It's a standard plus ultra animation. But again, you guys let me know in the comments how you feel about his plus ultra animation. Here we have his art. This is him non awakened So if you don't plan on awakening him anytime soon, this is what you're going to be looking at in the home screen, which is this Aizawa right here. Pretty basic if I do say so myself because you know sometimes when I do look at a URR I'm just like damn that looks like it could be a UR Awaken but nah this is just pretty basic one of the most basics I've seen so far could be an SR Awaken that's how like I think it's not that good but if we take a look right here which is his UR Awaken this is where it's really outstanding and if you haven't seen my last video going over the Aizawa and Mina Ashiro where we can actually see how it moves. It is a sick animation, I am not going to lie. So if you do get this uh, UR Aizawa Awaken, it is going to be good to have on the home screen and just seeing how it just blows out. Now, let's get into the meat of this video being his skills and seeing whether or not he's good or not. So his plus ultra is called Manipulation Bang. If we take a look at what it does, it cleanses the enemy of two buffs, which inflicts 650% damage to one enemy deals an additional 40% damage if the enemy has a skill damage debuff so if we calculate that guys he's basically doing 690% on his plus ultra but that's only if they have a skill damage debuff so let's see in his, in his action skills whether or not he is doing that so the first one being capture cloth the condition is five turns inflicts 350% damage to one enemy when used in a two or more hold on in a two or more chain successfully medium chance to rest Strength that target enemy for one turn. Now, the second action skill being Erasure, which the condition is four turns, it cleanses the enemy of two buffs, reduces the target enemy's speed and skill damage by 25% for three turns. So I already had a feeling that Aizawa was going to activate his own condition for the plus ultra. So if you want the plus ultra to do 690% damage, activate Erasure first and then use your plus ultra. We are seeing units do that now, where they're having to activate their skills first, and then on their next turn, they get to activate their plus ultra to do even more damage. I think the Deku does that as well, and the uh, Bakugo and the Todoroki. I don't really remember as of this recording. I'm going to check after that. Now, if we look at his auto skills, one of them being find a weakness. When attack deals critical damage, skills deal an additional 40% damage for three turns. At the start of each wave, reduce enemy crit rate by 25% for three turns. And then the second auto skill being be rational. When HP is 50% or more, plus 24 plus 25% crit rate, plus 50% crit rate for all 1A student allies. So that's where the support buff comes in for him. Now, looking at him, I feel like, you know, with this is target enemy speed and skill damage by 25%. He is lowering skill damage, so that is good. Plus, he is cleansing buffs as well. But I don't think this Aizawa was a must-have. You guys could, I feel like, in my opinion, could skip him, like I've been saying since the beginning. If he was broken, I would have considered the fact maybe summoning, but he does not look that good at all, so you guys don't really need him. Unless you're an Aizawa fan, then go ahead, summon, have this Aizawa. He's not that bad, but, you know, he's not really that good either. So, next character we're looking at is the Mina Ashiro. I don't know which one is her non-awakened and which one is her awakened, so we're just going to look at this art right here, which is good, you know, something simple for her. 
and then this is the R right here. I think this one could be her awaken. I don't know because normally when they do it in the Discord, shout out to the Discord, they always specify which one is awaken and which one is not awaken. When I went to the Discord to check if everything was there, they did not specify this time. So we're just getting what we got, and then this is what I just use. Like is this, like if it's the awaken. So let's look at her skills. She is blue as well. SR Mina Ashidos plus Ultra called Acid Shot, which inflicts 500% damage to one enemy and reduces the enemy's defense by 15% for three turns. Her first action skill being Acid Shot, which inflicts 250% damage to one enemy, reduces the enemy defense by 15% for three turns, and then reduces the enemy speed by 25% for three turns. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. It's alright. Reduces enemy speed by 25% and defense by 15%. So if you're activating that with the plus Ultra as well, that is 30%. Now her second action skill being Acid Veil, the condition is 5 turns, it taunts the enemy for 2 turns, gain a 2 turn damage cut, reduces damage by 35%. I feel like Hawks is better because it's just like that, but eh. if you want damage reduction it is good to have her on the team so you can have damage reduced by 35%, that is not bad, that is good. So now her first auto skill is we can do this, at the start of each battle she fills all allies plus ultra gauge by 20%. Gains evasion for one hit at the start of battle, at the start of each wave, is 30% speed. Okay, so her plus ultra is 20% and it is for all allies. She is a good side character to have, like just in case you want to bring her to Rui Tower. Maybe she's the only SR character you have and you have her on the team. Her auto skill is going to help you most likely to get that plus ultra gate going. And if you do unlock the All Might, which, I mean, it is kind of hard to unlock the All Might, so maybe that's a bad example. If you do have a support memory that does boost plus ultra gauge as well, you're going to be consistently getting her plus ultra maybe every 3 or 4 turns depending on what plus ultra gauge support memory booster you have. So she is an alright character as well, nothing crazy, but if you are a Mina fan, it's whatever at the end of the day. She's, she's a whatever character, she's good but not crazy good. Now if we take a look right here, this is the support memory. Now if you haven't watched the new episode of My Hero. You should watch it because this is basically going into detail about President Michael Aizawa's past. That's all I'm going to say about that. Now, this is what the support memory does. You are a hero more than anyone else. You're on. Keep up if you can. That's the event. That's what the event's called. I don't know why it's together like that. So, when equipped to a purple ally, plus 45% attack. When HP is 50% or less, reset all action skills currently on cooldown once only. Now... I did say that this support memory was going to be broken for somebody like Bakugo because purple Bakugo, if his skills are resetting, you're basically doing the same AOE attack over again and the single damage attack, which they do a lot of damage, guys. That Bakugo does a lot of damage. So if you use this, this is basically broken city. You are basically carrying a nuke with that Bakugo. So if you do get the support memory, congratulations, you got a good support memory for a purple character like Bakugo. Now here's the second one, this is an SR support memory but I feel like god damn this shit should be a UR because the art is beautiful and this is one of the first few episodes of My Hero Season 5, this is a sick card. So if we take a look at it, this SR is called Another Job, this is on the banner, you're on, keep it if you can. When equipped to a pro hero ally, skills deal an additional 40% damage and you also get plus 20% HP as well. So if you do have this on a pro hero, you're most likely going to do a lot of damage. If I do get this, I will equip it on my Endeavor because I feel like my Endeavor, his AoE attacks don't really do that much damage. So if I have this on him, he's going to be some crazy ass damage. So I hope I get this on the banner with my singles. Now, if we take a look at this, this is the one we're grinding for the new event that has dropped in the game. So if you don't know what's going on, every time we do get an event, there's one that we grind for with the gotcha system and then there's one that we grind for with the medals. This is the banner that we, I mean this is the banner, this is the support memory that we are going to get with the medals. So if we take a look at what it does, never ending homework, this is the event, you can see farmable. At the start of each wave, reduce enemy speed by 25% for 3 turns. If team has a 1A student ally, you also get 10% crit rate. It's nothing crazy, but you know, it's alright to have like, you know, 10% crit rate and then reduce the enemy speed by 25% for 3 turns. If you're already fast though, I feel like, you know, it's kind of pointless, but if you are struggling with content and you feel like, damn, the enemy is always going first and I'm never allowed to go first, use the support memory. It will probably help you out and makes content easier for you so the enemy doesn't always have to hit you hard like that. And you can also debuff the enemy as well if you are slow and you can't catch up with the enemy speed as well. So this is what the event looks like and the banner as well. They're going to have this icon. This is what Mina's event looks like as well. These are the medals that we are grinding for. So if you didn't know, 
what the medals were these are the medals that we are going to be grinding for it is hard to grind these support memories i'm not gonna lie in those in these type of events because i tried in the last two events that came out last two or three i haven't been really getting up to like max i only get like two stars at least because it's really hard to grind if you don't have the characters we are getting a new v tower boss and the v tower boss is going to be hawks now i am surprised that it is hawks because you know so far every v tower boss has been a villain so the fact that hawks is going to be the next one it says a lot especially to hawks as a character because hawks is a double agent in this game so the fact that they added him as the boss is pretty sick to me because they're basically playing the double entendre as hawks and i like that a lot now that is all the information we have so far on this event and what is going to be happening during the next two weeks until the next banner has dropped i hope you guys enjoyed this video be sure to like and comment if you want to you don't have to but it's always greatly appreciated also subscribe and with that i'll see ya when i see ya peace